enemy has struck at the heart of our empire. A puny contingent of their soldiers has been captured here on Kilra. This incursion was an act of desperation. The hairless apes now flail about knowing that they are beaten. They have failed their race utterly. There will be no interrogation. Do what you will with them. Disintegration. Silence. My brethren, they are not warriors, but maggots. Only one of them is worthy of being treated as a warrior. The one they call Angel. Still defiant, Gernot Arrow. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilurati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. in peace. Peace. Have we ever known anything like that, Paladin? Not for a long time, Laddie. First the tiger's claw, now this. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. The wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespas off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Any word from Angel? None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Laddie. sir did you say the victory is there something wrong with your hearing colonel no sir it's just that i the tcs victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the confederation yes sir a very long history sir ship assignments aren't open to debate colonel of course i realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that the victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. What 
I'm trying to tell you, Carl, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, about my request. Yes. But it came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. Yes, sir. Despite recent losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karathi. However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Karathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of Confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Welcome to the TCS Victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. It warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. Yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Oh, neither is a Concordia anymore. Yeah, terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the Victory most of my career. I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Ragnar Hollis on your crew. Hollis? Oh. Yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. But what about his exemplary record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Ison, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship. But I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but, uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. Oh. And we have control. I think. Um, only somewhat, apparently. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So, this is Wing Commander 3. A bit of a blast from the past. Um, uh, I think it was released in 1993 or 94. Um, and uh, to my amazement, it actually seems to run at uh, 640x480 resolution. I thought it would be lower than that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's an old game. Um, 
and my joystick is sort of not playing nice with us. Um, uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so between this episode and the next, I will try to uh, resolve this, and um, um, until then, I'll just uh, talk a little bit more about the game and um, do a bit of, yeah, history lesson. So if you're not interested in any of that, just uh, skip this, well, just uh, skip the rest of this video and um, we should get back to um, yeah, we should get back to a controllable game. Um, but yeah, Wing Commander 3, uh, third in the Wing Commander series, obviously, uh, mainline series. There are a few spin-offs such as Wing Commander Privateer, Academy, Armada, uh, Privateer 2, of course. Um, Prophecy is Wing Commander 5, although they didn't actually number it 5, but there you go. Uh, you, I think you can get all of these on a good old games now. Hmm. But as you can, as you could see in the intro, the uh, video quality is not really stellar, to say the least. But that's um, yeah, that's just what we're gonna get. Uh, that is the uh, technology of the era, and that's just not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, it now, this game is obviously. Uh, one of the uh, FMV games, so uh, the original physical release came at, I think, four discs. And uh, then Wing Commander 4 came and just six bit... Oh, okay, that, that went horribly wrong. <laughs> six discs, bitches. <laughs> Which is just crazy. Uh, okay. So a bit of history here, um, back in Wing Commander 1, humanity had been at war with Kirathi, the big um, cat, uh, feline dudes you saw in, in the introduction. Uh, one of them is on this ship, yes, um, I'll get to that, I hope. Um, we've been at war with them for, um, well, at the time of Wing Commander 1, I think, about a decade maybe? Um, and, well, then you took control of Blue Hair, uh, gave him his own name, and, um, well, I mean, you, you could name him. He is uh, commonly referred to as Blue Hair, your little avatar, because he had blue hair. That's, yeah. Cheers. In that game, you uh, were stationed on the TCS Tiger's Claw, and were sent around the Gemini Sector, I th no, no, wait, no, Gemini Sector is Privateer 1, uh, but, um, yeah, you, you were, like, flying missions off the TCS Tiger's Claw and, um, fighting aces, um, uh, it was, uh, Chris Roberts originally intended it to be sort of like, uh, basically another kind of Star Wars, uh, And, well, at the end of uh, One Commander 1, you come face to face with the Kilrathi Prince. His name is Prince Thrakath. Uh, you saw him uh, in the introduction, he was the one speaking directly to the uh, Cat on the Throne. Uh, Kilrathi... Oh, Kilra... Oh, well. The uh, Kilrathi species has a sort of empire, so that would be the Emperor on the Throne, and... Uh, Prince Thrakath, Thrakath is not, you know, prince in a monarchy, he's more like the imperial imperial prince, something, uh, well, first in line to the throne, uh, empire ship thing. Um, so you fought him at the end when Commander 1, and ideally you win or you get a game over, so seeing as... Um, Blue Hair, who is in this game and uh, the next game, and in Wing Commander Prophecy, 
played by Mark Hamill, the guy from Star Wars. He, <laughs> yeah, and a lot of other things. Um, we survived that encounter. So we skip ahead to Wing Commander 2. I think that is 17 years after Wing Commander 1. Uh, well, there were a bit of, you know, secret missions and stuff in between, of course, but uh, in a nutshell, the TCS Tiger's Claw was destroyed at the end of Secret Missions 2, when we come on one Secret Missions 2, and uh, Blue Hair, or Christopher Blair, as he is named in uh, this game and the following Wing Commanders, uh, was, uh, well, was taken to court martial, uh, found guilty of dereliction of duty, and, uh, yeah, stationed at the ass end of nowhere in Vega Sector. And uh, then, well, in a nutshell, shit happened in Vega Sector, and, uh, uh, a lieutenant or whatever, Blue Hair, was then stationed on the TCS Concordia, which was to be our home for the, for the rest of that game, and, um, well, they went around the, uh, Vega Sector and fought Kilrathi, and, uh, and were occasionally beset by mandarins because hey um and at the end of that game you again fight uh, prince thrakath and you also destroy a great big space station because that's what you do or maybe that was in secret operations yeah i think no no i think that was in the main game uh, and then you go into the uh, Secret operations, uh, two expansion expansion packs, and uh, fought more mandarins because that's what you do. And for some reason or other, you had uh, nuclear missiles on your fighters all of a sudden. <laughs> and uh, it was you, Paladin, and a wingman that is uh, well, that you uh, flew with in Wing Commander One. Who you will also have in this game, um, and Wing Commander 4, and Wing Commander 5, played by uh, comedian Tom Wilson. His uh, call sign is Maniac, and he kind of lost his shit in a big way <laughs> in Secret Operations. So there you go, uh, two people, one of them lost his shit, and you both have nuclear armaments. Sounds fun, right? But anyway, apparently we all survived, because there is a Wing Commander 3. Uh, but yeah, in between the end of Secret Operations 2, where the TCS Concordia actually survived, and this game, obviously the TCS Concordia was destroyed, and crashed on Vespus. Uh, so, Angel, as you saw, uh, well, as you kind of can deduce from the introduction is a sort of an interest uh, for the main character and indeed she is the woman you saw in the introduction at the imperial court um do you think she's all right because you know, arts are kind of not in her favor you think you think um so that is where we are right now. Also, uh, the the guy who was who was standing with um, uh, Colonel Christopher Blair at the crash site of the of the TCS Concordia. That is the actor John Rhys Davis, who is portraying, uh, well, who is playing um, James Taggart, an intelligence officer. Um, he will receive a bit of a promotion between Wing Commander 3 and Wing Commander 4, uh, but I don't think we're going to see that on my channel. But, hey, it is a thing that happened. Um, so, the thing is, um, the people uh, that were caught actually on Kilron that is the Kirathi homeworld, you can deduce that they were kind of, you know, not there in a sort of conventional warfare capacity, being a sort, meaning they are sort of an intelligence 
operation. Um, keep that in mind. Uh, also, in this game, the uh, war against the Kirathi has been going for 30 years. And uh, we are sort of not doing all that well, really. Um, and bada fucking boom. Wing Commander 3 is a go. And I actually have a few more things to say, but I think I'll save that for the next video. And um, sorry, it was so boring looking at the screen, but uh, my joystick is really not cooperating with me. Um, okay, I hope I will have that sorted before the next video, but um, technology, man, it is a hell of a thing. Until then.